This is a perfectly normal US dollar bill, featuring George Washington, the country's first president. This dollar bill, however, features Santa Claus. Both are very real notes and genuine legal tender. So why is this one all Christmassy? Well, the answer is a bit anticlimactic. It's simply a normal dollar bill with a sticker over the portrait. But these notes are still seriously cool and part of a really unique Christmas tradition that sees these notes sold by charities and then gifted to children across America. They can still be spent, although most recipients tend to hold on to them, and the sticker can be peeled off, leaving the note beneath undamaged, which is how they bypass the laws against defacing currency. I did want to demonstrate in this video, but I just couldn't bring myself to. It felt like I'd be destroying Christmas. So anyway, it got me wondering, are there any really real banknotes that feature Santa Claus, or anything Christmas related for that matter? If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. On the lowest rung of the ladder, there's novelty banknotes. I'm talking the cringe-inducingly garish such as these designs. This is a $1 million note, featuring Santa on the front and Santa with a child on the reverse. It's fun trying to spot all the Christmas references on these notes, like the number 1225, Christmas Day written in the American date format, or that the note serves to recognise the tireless effort of old Saint Nick. Similarly, this note is a $25 bill and is just horrible. It features Santa with baubles, stockings and icicles, while the equally awful reverse features his sleigh with reindeer. I'm not too averse to this design, it's a little more understated and charming, reading this note is legal tender for good boys and girls. And then there's this horrid one, stylized to resemble a UK £50 note, which just sees a CGI Santa and reindeer lazily slapped on top of the ordinary design. Maybe I'm just too much of a hardcore banknote nerd, but I don't at all like these notes. Next up, there's the Zero Euro notes, souvenir banknotes sold at attractions across Europe that I'm actually incredibly fond of. Four of the notes are from Finland, home to Lapland and the official Santa Claus post office, seen on this design. Another one sees Santa sitting on a chair with a mug of hot chocolate, whilst a third sees him smiling warmly. My favourite though sees Santa riding his sleigh above a snow-covered house, with the northern lights ribboning in the background. And then there's this one, which I believe to be German, which features a rather more cartoonish Santa holding a present. I guess ultimately I'd still reluctantly categorise these as novelty banknotes, although they're a significant step up from the previous notes, containing all the security features you'd traditionally expect. But I still haven't answered my question. Does Santa appear on any real banknotes that were really used? Yes, but we have to travel back in time about a hundred years. In Germany, in the period between the two world wars, the monetary demand could not be sufficiently met by the German central bank, so local governments and banks began to issue their own banknotes, known as Notgeld or emergency money. These were real banknotes, although often had printed expiry dates when the notes could be redeemed until. Each town or city produced their own designs, resulting in literally tens of thousands across the country. And the creative and whimsical designs often depicted local folklore, landmarks or traditions. And so naturally, it wasn't long before some Christmas designs were made. This design sees the German town of Persnick decorated with Christmas lights, whilst this one from the town Karla sees candles and pine cones on one side and a Christmas tree and angels on the other. Hemdingen issued a whole series of notes, titled The Elf's Journey to Earth, featuring a load of slightly peculiar Christmassy scenes. But nothing as peculiar as the note to finally feature Santa Claus, albeit an extremely nightmarish version of him. It's from Sonneberg, a place known as the international town of toys at the time, and sees a very creepy Santa Claus with some now culturally insensitive toys. Now I bet you're thinking, really Chris? This whole supposedly festive video just led up to you showing us a very creepy and probably slightly racist banknote. Pretty much. I mean, there are some more examples I couldn't physically get hold of, such as this Notgel design, suggested by my good friend and YouTuber Silverpicker. And there are also a handful of examples from 19th century America, although these were wildly expensive and not particularly Christmassy. So yeah, creepy Santa it is. Before you go, I'm giving away 10 of the Santa dollars over on my Instagram, at Chris. so make sure to head over there now. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And don't at all have difficulty sleeping imagining this guy coming down your chimney. Whoa ho 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 ho. A massive thank you to Brian from Virginia for sending me a Santa dollar and introducing me to this concept in the first place. 